My rabbi tells me, unlike other kings of the Jewish nation, Jesus was not formally anointed. Jesus is not the Messiah. Could you tell me how the other kings were anointed? I can tell you the example of King David being anointed by Samuel. The Lord asked Samuel to go to Bethlehem, where the family of Jesse, David's father was. Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed David in the presence of his brothers. It was a formal ceremony in which David was made king of Judah. You know what? The oil symbolizes the anointing, but the substance is the Spirit of God. If you read 1 Samuel 16, you will see that Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. The substance of anointing is the Spirit of God. Was Jesus anointed by the Spirit of God? Absolutely. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary to announce the conception of Jesus. He said, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Highest will overshadow you, therefore, also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. So, that was the ceremony of Jesus being anointed? Yes, Jesus, the Messiah, was anointed by the Holy Spirit when conceived. He fulfilled the Messianic prophecy of Isaiah 11, which says, There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. There was another public occasion when Jesus was anointed. When John baptized Jesus, heaven opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love, with you I am well pleased. So, are you saying Jesus was anointed the second time? Yes, David was also anointed the second time. Samuel first anointed David at Bethlehem. Then, in 2 Samuel, chapter 2, David went to Hebron, where he was anointed king of the tribe of Judah. It was the second time David was anointed. How can you know that the dove that descended on Jesus is the Spirit of God? I can give you some references. In Hagiga 15a, Ben Zoma explained about Genesis 1-2 this way, The Spirit of God hovered over the face of the waters, like a dove hovering over its young without touching them. Another reference is Genesis Rabbah 8, which says, And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the water, Genesis 1-2, This is the Spirit of the Messianic King, as it says, The Spirit of the Lord will rest upon him, Isaiah 11-2. The ancient sages understood that the Spirit of God is like a dove. More specifically, it is the Spirit of the Messiah. You have told me the dove that descended on Jesus was the Spirit of God. How can you know the Spirit of God rests upon Jesus? A good question. Jesus did miracles that only God could do. He calmed a windstorm of the sea. One day Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. And suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea, so that the boat was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us. We are perishing. But he said to them, Why are you fearful? O you of little faith! Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. Who can control the wind and sea? In the Hebrew Bible, it is written in Psalm 107:25, You rule the raging of the sea, when its waves rise, you still them. Jesus was doing something God alone can do. Can you tell me what other things Jesus did showing that he was anointed by the Spirit of God? One day, Jesus passed by a beggar who had been blind from birth. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Then he spit on the ground, made mud with the saliva, and spread the mud over the blind man's eyes. He told him, go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and washed. You know what happened? The man came back seeing. On another occasion, there was a boy possessed by a demon. He had seizures and was suffering greatly. He often fell into the fire or the water. Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of the boy, and he was healed at that moment. Were these all the things Jesus did showing the Spirit of God was upon him? There were other things that Jesus did, showing the Spirit of God was upon him. But I'll tell you the greatest of all. Please tell me what great things he did. First of all, I would like to read a quotation from Parsik to Rabadi, 36. It says, Satan said before the Holy One, Master of the Universe, show him to me. God replied, Come and see him. And when he saw him, Satan was shaken, and he fell on his face and said, Surely, this is the Messiah who will cause me and all the counterparts in heaven of the princes of the earth's nations to be swallowed up in Gena, as it is said he will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces, Isaiah 25 8. 
Does the sage say the Messiah will defeat Satan? You got it. Jesus the Messiah died according to Isaiah 53. He poured out his soul unto death. However, he prolonged his days after his death. Oh, you just puzzled me. Have you just said he died? How can he prolong his days after his death? Yes, Jesus' crucifixion resulted in his death. However, he is the Messiah. The Spirit of God rested upon him and enabled him to defeat Satan. The ancient sages understand Isaiah 25 8 to say that the Messiah will swallow up death forever by defeating Satan and his princely counterparts. After he finished his victory by defeating the enemy, the Spirit of God empowered him to rise from the dead after three days and three nights and come out of the tomb. What did Jesus do after he rose from the dead? He appeared to more than 500 people over 40 days, and then he was taken to heaven and exalted to the right hand of God. Then, he received and poured out the Holy Spirit from God to all who believe in him. He says to them, I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Believe in Jesus today, and you will be given the Spirit of God and have everlasting life.